Hi, I thought I'd make this short video really to accompany the post that I just put up on social media about the importance of making sure your program is kind of based on the latest scientific evidence and research. Um, in particular, when we look at weight management, but pretty much goes across the board that everything you're doing should really be based on some kind of sound scientific rationale so you can be sure that the end result is going to be there because the science supports that that's the way it works. So if we do take weight management as the issue, there's obviously a number of aspects within that. There's going to be the nutritional aspect and obviously you're going to need a sound understanding of nutrition and some basic principles there if you're going to help the client make those nutritional dietary changes. You also will need a sound exercise physiology understanding, exercise programming, but also the latest evidence around activity and how that plays into weight management and what have you. Most importantly, from my perspective in the area that I work in a lot is behavior change. And I think sometimes this is an area that people don't fully understand in terms of what the evidence is for how you might go about helping a client achieve a lifestyle kind of behavior change. The first thing to say is you've got to build the client's motivation. And to look at motivation, we can look at the COMBI model in a paper by Mitchie. And COMBI looks at competence, opportunity, and motivation. Now, competence capability feeds into motivation, as does opportunity. And we build up that competence and capability by increasing the client's competence around whatever the behavior is. And we can do this by having small goals, setting, the, helping them set and working with them to set weekly targets. And so as they achieve those, that builds their competence. It also builds their self-efficacy. And self-efficacy is a concept that Bandura came up with. You can think of it as kind of self-confidence. But from my research and other research, it's shown that as self-efficacy increases, people move forward through the stages of change. So we know that building that is important. And as I say, we build that by getting small successes, but we also build it through education. And even that you need to be basing on the latest scientific evidence. In other words, how are you going to educate? You shouldn't just be telling people to do things. You need to be autonomy supportive, providing education in the right way, providing advice and guidance in the right way, always respecting the client's autonomy, their right to choose. So we're now using the COMBI model correctly. We're building motivation in the right way. And another aspect of building that motivation is understanding what self-determination de theory says about motivation. That you can think of motivation as being on a spectrum. At one end, we've got kind of extrinsic external motivation. And that type of motivation, you kind of see in military, you know, do this, do that, get it done five more press-ups, that type of thing. And often people think that's kind of motivation, you know, beast things. You know, in sport, we used to do it quite a lot. We've kind of learned better now. That's at one end. Now, that type of motivation generally isn't that effective. We need to move to the other end of the spectrum, which is intrinsic motivation. And what we're basically saying with intrinsic motivation is, as it kind of suggests, it comes from within. And it comes from within by building things like capability, competence, um, education, self-efficacy. All these aspects build into intrinsic motivation, enjoyment. So making it enjoyable doing whatever activity is. So your weight management program, as much as you can, has to have that education element, has to have the enjoyability factor, for want of a better word. Make it fun, make it interesting. Always involve the client in their choices. Don't be using a directing style, telling people what to do, giving them instructions, handing out diet plans. All those type of things go against what kind of current research would suggest is effective. Autonomy supportive coaches achieve far better results than directing coaches. And these are the type of skills you learn when you kind of learn motivational interviewing. It's a new way of communicating it's a far more effective way of communicating, but ultimately it allows the client to make the behavior change because everything you are now doing is based on what the current science says is work. I know sometimes you'll see people justifying, oh, well, I did it with this client and it worked. Now, it may have, I'm not gonna dispute that it's worked with an individual client, but 
just because it works with one person doesn't make it scientifically based it may have just been a pure fluke that it worked with that client and you certainly couldn't rely on that working with every client whereas if you're working from an evidence-based standpoint based on what the current research says there's a far better chance because that's going to be based on a population there's a far better chance that your your client falls into that category and is liable to follow through with the actions so it's important to be working from an evidence-based standpoint it's important to understand everything that you do and how that fits with these models I should be able to say to you I want you to look at your program I want you to tell me how that fits with the current science what is that based on what why do you do that what what's the scientific evidence for that if you can do that then your program is on the ball that's going to change science changes science moves on so you've got to keep abreast of it as well it's no good thinking well I knew this five years ago so I'll carry on doing it our understanding changes so keeping up to date being kind of growing your own kind of personal understanding is a really important thing to take on board so hopefully you found this useful as I say I kind of put it together to accompany the posts that I put out on social media if you've got any questions go on to the website you can contact me directly you can also book a 15 minute call take a look at the motivational interviewing and behavior shop, change shop because that is really going to bring your skills up to speed and you only have to look on Google My Business for some of the reviews, testimonials there to see that this really does work and is effective. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this and look out for further posts within my YouTube channel. Cheers then. Bye.